Hello, teacher friends. We all need more hours in the day, so I am here to show you three time-saving tips that you can use in Google Classroom. Hello, I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. Welcome back to my channel. Let's start saving some time. First time-saving tip, to see all your student work. If you go to people and you go to your student, you will get this running report of everything that has been done and what's been missing. You can also see if something needs to be graded. If you wanna just check missing, you click over here on the left side. You can see what's missing, things that have been returned to the students, things that the students have turned in and not yet graded. And if you click on that item, you can actually go in and grade it. The next tip I wanna show you is how to reuse assignments that you've already used. So if your assignments have basically the same general directions, you can reuse those posts over and over and just make minor edits. It saves so much time. Go to classwork when you're going to create, go to reuse. Now the great thing about this is you can reuse posts from other classrooms. So other classrooms that you are a part of, you go back arrow here and you can see all of the classrooms that you manage or that you're in charge of and you can reuse posts there. So let me give you a pro tip about that. What I like to do, much like this demonstration class, I have a class that I'm preparing already for the 22-23 school year, and I start planning out my agenda, and I'm already creating my assignments in my planning class. And as I go through, I add it first week, I add exactly what I'm gonna do, I put in all the links. So at the beginning of the school year, when I go into my new class, I go to classwork, create, and then I go down to reuse. You go up here to this arrow and you can actually choose the class that you want to pull from. So I've already created my first lesson for the first day. I click on it, press reuse, and it uploads immediately to my demonstration class where I'm showing you how to do this. The it shows the week, it keeps everything the same. I already had set it up to make a copy for each student. The only thing you do have to do, which I almost feel like this is a glitch in the system that maybe they can fix because I did set up the date in the original post, but you have to click here and choose the due date. Other than that, it works really, really well, and then you can assign it. The newest feature, the most wonderful feature that Google Classroom has finally heard us on is how to schedule assignments to multiple classes. Go ahead, create your assignment. Go here, under four, you click the classes that you want it to be assigned to or scheduled to, and then you go to the drop-down arrow and click schedule. And you will get this screen that pops up. Now, don't do the mistake that I was doing and clicking on each and every one of these individually, no. You set the first one for the date and the time that you want and the topic, and then you want to copy your settings and it will copy them, see, to all the others. I don't know about you, but I teach five classes. That was a lot of clicking I was doing until I figured that out. And then I just go sh through here and I just set the date and the time that I want it to publish to each and every class. Because I teach different periods, this is so beneficial, and click schedule. It will automatically push this out to each of your classes at the proper time. Hope you found this video helpful. If you need more tips and tricks for Google Classroom, check out one of these videos. I'll see you there.